more help, the bigger cups and the larger jar without using the filter. And right here for demonstration, just going to show you with this amount of tomatoes like this, same thing with the extractor blick, it goes right on top here. And honestly, you may have a blender, a food processor or even a juicer at home. Well, if you spend 300, 500, 800, even a thousand dollars to buy one, will you take one apple tomato to juice it and drink it? Even I give you one orange, one apple, you spend a thousand dollars to buy one, you may not use them at all, you'll find troublesome. But this is practical, can be one, can be two, it doesn't matter, I can choose it in seconds right here. If you want it more, they use the bigger cup. If you want many more, they use the one with the jar. So that small, medium and large containers depend on the amount that you may have. And especially for those with baby, you do not take the whole blender to make one small amount baby for the fury. Use a small cup that comes in handy for your baby. So when I have it in 20 to 30 seconds or 45 seconds, you're going to get the cell 100% and pure fresh tomato juice with no preservative, no additive at all. If you drink from the cup, you only wash the cups and the brick in 10 seconds. I'm going to put it with some water, spin like a washing machine for one to second. Maybe it's a clean running tap water again and it's done. So every process goes in seconds and every process you wash and clean in seconds as well. And it's going to be the same for orange like this and you're going to try this shortly. And this is what I meant by 100% pure fresh orange juice, everything inside, nothing goes to waste from here because we are not using the filter now. We have everything right here. Right? And for those who look to make smoothie, it can be mango, kiwi, strawberry or any other fruits that you have. Top it up with more ice to make the smoothie that you like and it's nice to go with some yogurt. I'm not going to add yogurt that makes smoothie, I'm going to go with something that's familiar to all of you. I'm sure you know what this is. This can be added to any juice that you have but preferably use the original flavor. I do not add this for fun, I add this because it's healthy. It helps to fight bad bacteria and intestines and build good bacteria. It's not only for children but everyone, they're probiotic. And the boost the energy of these drinks here and this is what I'm going to add in as well. Basically what we're going to add right here as you can see is just a supplement to it. What we actually want is the pups and the fiber of the orange inside. So when you try this later you should be able to taste the fiber of the orange. I like when I make this celery with green apple and lemon. When I use the filter like this there's no fiber at all. You try that there's no fiber but this is going to be with the fiber of the orange inside. Alright so give us a try so it's another difference when I meant by having a juice together with the fiber right now. Uh, but the six of the orange are growing inside. But if you see those little brown dogs and the black dogs, it's actually the six of the orange. Remember, you can remove them first, so not the six of the growing fine together with the juice right here. Alright, so this is going to be together with the fiber of the orange. Try this one here and it's another different. This is with the fiber. Alright, so little girl, you can try this one here. Anyone else still want it? Alright. Try this one here, so I need to know the difference what I meant by having a juice with the fiber right now. But there's many more you can do with this, because this is not just a blender, look. You can use this as a blender, grind and mix a juice or chopper, as an ice crusher, cappuccino, make a smoothie maker, make mix a coffee grinder or in one. Right? So we see the brown dogs and the black dogs is only the six of the orange, right? Remember, you can remove the six first, and now the six will be quite fine to get the juice right here. So this is going to be with the fiber. Um, anyone? Nobody. Okay, so you try the second one, the orange is with the fiber. When you try the celery, when I use the filter, there's no fiber at all. So remember, you can the book that you want, all right? And washing, there's nothing else to wash. It's always the cups and the break in just 10 seconds. So this is easy to use and it's simple to wash and clean. If you rinse some water, I'll put it with some water inside. Spin like a washing machine for one to second. Maybe it's a clean running tap water again and it's done. All right, um, guys, let me have a quick recap right here and let me show you what we have. Remember, as I mentioned, small cup is for one, seven glass two glasses you this you need three to four to use the one in the jar so they're small medium and large depend on the amount that you have and all the processing cups as I mentioned they are not plastic or glass they are often very polycarbonate because it doesn't break easily most importantly they are all past concept technology they are all from Japan and Japan designed for safety so no matter how much water goes inside you always come up by itself but this is designed for safety it's one and only in Singapore which is the pop generation we have it right here right, but do not try on any other brands they are not the same Right? So remember, you also have two different sacks of bricks right now. So can you see the two different bricks here? All right, so first, fruit special is ice, milk, water. Anything that has water content, which is wet, you will use the extractor blade, which is the four bladed here. Anything dry in the powder, you will get the grind, use the grinding blade. It can be herbs, spice, coffee bean and the coffee powder, baby fruit, like brown rice and punch rice to powder, you will use the grinding blade. So this is for wet and this is for dry. Meaning that small cup, big cups, right, doesn't matter, depending on the amount 
that you have. Right here for demonstration, let me share with the small cups right now. Have the ingredients, you want to put it inside here. And of course, you may have more, you put up to here, many more, there is the bigger cup. You see the grinding blade, it goes right on top here. But it's going to be a bit noisy, yeah, hard and dry, especially for cinnamon drinks, very hard. It's just the sound of the things inside here. So what I have here, put the pin and the slot stack. Um, I just push it down, turn it on, and that's all. In 20 to 30 seconds, you have a powder that you want. Cinnamon in one minute, coffee being in the coffee powder in 5 to 10 seconds. So you do not need to get a coffee grinder. You get a coffee grinder, it costs you more than this. You check it out. But anyway, you can determine the fineness that you like. You can always stop now and see. If you think this is not fine for you, you want to be better than this, finer than this, you can always continue again for another 20 to 30 seconds. The more time you process, the finer it will be. So decide on the fineness that you want from here. And for those who love to make cake, pastry and dessert, I'm sure that we need to use lots and lots of sugar. So let's see what we can do with sugar now. This is what we use for tea and coffee. But remember, sugar takes less than 10 seconds. All it does in town is just 5 to 8. I mean, count together with me simply as 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. In 5 seconds, you turn your sugar right in your home to an icing sugar as well. So you can be sugar like that or maybe ice like this. Remember, your goes in second. You want to use the bigger cup to smaller cups or even a larger jar it will lose in seconds as well. It's the same that we did earlier with a cup of ice. What if we choose? Chocolate milk, syrup with water, right now for the children. Any drinks that they have, you can always add into the cup of ice here. Right, this is syrup with sweet, so it goes with water. You can always go with right now for the children. Using the extractor blade, close right on top, right, and just uh, simply turn it on. As I mentioned, it takes less than a minute, in 30 seconds or 10 or 30 seconds. Or if you hear the sound of the ice crashing, it get loud. As it goes softer and softer and softer and smooth and this is done. So what I have here for your sunny day when you come back from work, they come back from school, you simply make an icy cold drink, a slash like this in 10 to 15 seconds right in your home. So we drink from the cup and you wash only the cups in the blink and this is done. There's nothing else you need to wash right here. Having fruits like strawberry, kiwi, mango, avocado, papaya or even banana like this, all it takes in just 10 seconds to get this done. So they put the fruits that they like right in the cups here and this is for demonstration so I'll be showing you with the small cups right now. You may want it more, use the bigger cup for two glasses, many more than you use the one in the jar for three to four. So there are small, medium and large containers, depending on the amount that you may have. You want it sweeter, you go with sugar or honey. Banana with chocolate, banana with strawberry. This is optional to give you an idea. And for those who want it cold, just top it up with some ice, to have a nice chromium shake, and fill it up with the milk that you like. You can go so fresh, milk, full cream milk, non fat milk or skim milk, it doesn't matter. Using the extractor blade, it goes right on top. So this is going to be great for one serving glass. It's 250 ml for the small cups here. I'm sure most of you may have a blender, you may have a food processor at home, right? But honestly, do you think you will take it up to make one glass of milk shake? Any of you will do that? You rather don't drink. You'll find troublesome to wash and clean. And that's the reason why most of the blender is always in a cup and hard to use them, why they keep it. And why people are using this? Because it's practical, fast and easy. You process only in 10 seconds and you wash and clean in 10 seconds as well. So when I have here in 10 seconds like this, you can have yourself a mixture of strawberry, kiwi, mango, avocado, papaya, or banana with strawberry syrup here. And most importantly, there's nothing else to wash. It's only the cups and blink in 10 seconds as well. So you rinse some water or you put it with some water inside, spin like a washing machine for one two seconds, reduce the clean running tap water again and it's done. So every process goes in seconds and every process you wash and clean in seconds as well. And this is how we get the conventional in second, measure in 10 seconds, slash in 10 to 15 seconds, ice blender in 10 to 15 seconds. Just in seconds by using this for fruits and vegetables and we get this for free as well. You can whip, you can grind, you can chop, make a piece, even crush the ice to make your ice kachan ice. If you like to take ice kachan or ice candy, you're gonna love this as well. I'm gonna show you how you can crush it in 10 to 15 seconds. Big up small cup, it doesn't matter. Ice, they are hard. All the processing cup, as I mentioned, they are even harder because it's not plastic, it's not glass. It's from red polycarbonate, so it doesn't break easily. Use a microwave, hot boiling water, drop it through a faucet like a basketball. And secondly, the bricks are blunt. Remember, the bricks are not sharp. Most of the blender, the food processor they have, the bricks are sharp like that. So when they crush ice and ice, things that are hard, they get blunt on the brick. That's the reason why Japan designed this with a blunt brick. So no matter how long you use, it always stays blunt. But this unique process at 30,000 RPM, which is still down better than a normal food processor. So to help the ice to circulate, let the brick in 30,000 RPM, just fill up with water first. And in the end of 15 seconds, after they crush the ice, then they remove the excess water from the cup. Or should you hear the sound of the ice crunching again? 
loud as it goes soft and soft and soft and smooth and this is done. So first you have the water inside, so what you need to do now, remove the excess water out. And let's see what we have here in 10 to 15 seconds by using this unit right now. If the water cannot come out, just give it a thought, let the water flow it out and this is what I'm trying to show you. You crush all the ice that you want. There's no more cube ice inside. You know the knife will not be able to go through. This is all crushed ice right here in 10 to 15 seconds. So make your ice kacang, your ice candy. You do not need an ice crusher, you do not need an ice shaver at all. In 10 to 15 seconds, and get this done. You want to see something more interesting that most of you may not even see this before, unless it was from me with this unit right here. What I'll be using is just going to be coffee powder. So we're going to go with some water like this. And the purpose of showing you this is basically to let you see the speed, the performance of this unit. And when I mean by 30,000 RPM, she's still done better than a normal food processor. Now you're going to see right here, your blender, your food processor will not be able to do it. Because this is two times better than that. Even those that may look similar like this that you see outside, commonly comes in gray, green, orange or white. I mean, check on the internet now, there's something that looks similar online at 30, 40 or 50 dollars, which is very cheap. But remember, all those only look similar, but they are not the same. They do not have the same speed or same performance as this unit here. There's many things can show you here, the other brands, the other color that looks similar like this, they cannot do it out. They cannot even do what I'm showing you right now in seconds by whipping a coffee powder with water into a big cream of coffee just like that. Because the speed, the performance of this unit, as I mentioned, is too damn far better than those that we see outside. So all those, they may look similar, but they are not the same. So do not get yourself confused with this unit from the rest we see elsewhere. And this is going to be thick and creamy, so it stays and not the whole things will fall. So if you love to make cake, pastry and dessert, they can use the tall cups, can use the larger jar, put the egg, the flour, the meat, the sugar, the butter, whatever ingredients you have, will be for a couple of seconds, and the flour can be very smooth and creamy as well. As it comes to washing in the same way, if you rinse the water, put it with some water inside, spin like a washing machine of its own for one, two seconds, rinse it with clean running tap water again, and it's done. So every process goes in seconds, and every process you wash and clean in seconds as well. And for those who do lots of cooking, I'm sure they may need to chop the garlic, the onion, the chili, or even vegetables in the baby food. Some of you may even like to mince, the meat of a chicken or mutton as well. But for me, you must remove the bones, not the bones will be crushed to get it inside. You need to break the cheese, can you need to break the coconut. So we have against garlic, let's go with onion. Right, this is what we normally use at home when we cook, right? And some may even like to go with chili as well. And this is just for demonstration. So I'm going to mix everything right in the cups here to save time. You can have all onion, all garlic, all chili chopped separately like this. You can extract the blade with this right on top. If you have more, you put up to here. Many more, you use the bigger cup. So let's see how we can get this done. Right, whenever we chop out, our hands be going up and down, up and down, up and down, right? So same for this, remember, your hands be going up and down, up and down, up and down as well. Tap and let go, tap and let go, tap and let go, that's it. The more you tap, the finer it is. But do not turn to lock it out. If you turn, it becomes a piece like that. We do not want a piece, want a chocolate piece. So you tap and tap and tap, right? This is not messy and it doesn't smell white because it's powder and concealed. So what will happen in a couple of seconds, your garlic, your onion, the chili, can you see from there, it's all chopped in a cup here. To make a paste like chicken rice chili, bajan chili, sambar chili, or another sauce of paste that you want, then you just put the ingredients inside the cups here. Uh, anyway, this chili is a wet chili, right? So many thanks so much. Uh, this is a wet chili, so meaning there's some um, water contents, you do not need to add any water at all. And secondly, there's what inside? There's many six inside. You do not need to remove the six. All it takes across maybe in just one minute without adding water, without removing the six, you make a fine chili paste like that. You may have ginger, put ginger, blachan, lime sugar, all can be added inside according to the ingredients for a recipe. So remember, first we need the chopping, you go by tapping. The more you tap, the finer it is. If you want the paste, push down, turn clockwise the lock it and let it go. That's it. There's nothing for it to adjust at all. But sometimes, it may get stick by the side because it's wet. If it gets stick by the side, give a little shake. It's called the shaking techniques. It's called the tapping techniques and the blending techniques. And all these three are explained to you right in the menu here. To make more chili, use the bigger cup. We got many more than use the one with the jar. So small, medium and large, depending on the amount that you have. And right, let me show you with more water like this. For your hands, it may be very wet, the tables are full of water. And what happens if water gets inside here? As I mentioned, they are all past concept technology. They are all from Japan, and Japan designed this for safety. We may be careless, or even our children, they may have juice or water that spills inside, and what happens? It goes and it goes right through, it doesn't affect the unit here. It's designed for safety. Secondly, look at the left and the right here. Your hands may be very wet, the tables are full of water. 
Even if you can start the rain, this is still safe to use. So not everyone who's standing here right now. Do you see that? No matter how much water gets in, you always come out by itself. But this unit is designed for safety. But do not try on any other brands that are not the same. This is one and only in Singapore, which the fourth generation we have it right here. So when they have you without adding water, without removing the six, you make into a very fine chili paste like this. See for yourself, and only things approximately in just one minute right here. As it comes to washing in the same way, so you may rinse with water or put up some water inside, spin like a washing machine of its own for one, two seconds, rinse a clean running tap water again, and it's done. So simply, things are processed in seconds, and you wash and clean easily in seconds as well. And right now for this show, when you get this unit, you'll be getting this for free, and let me show you how you can get this done. And remember, like whatever you see right now is all live, it's not a video, not TV, nothing edited at all. Everything I show you is done in seconds, right in front of you, right? So let's go with this. You see the extractor blade that you have, so we put it behind the jar here. Remember, this is the dual purpose jar, meaning the first. Right? If you remove the micro mesh filter, if you remove this, this is just going to be a bigger jar for bigger quantity. Small cup is for one, seven glass, two glasses, you use three to four, use the one in the jar for more. And secondly, you attach the filter fitted inside like this, and now this will become as an extractor for you. The purpose of the filter is to separate the pups, the fiber, the six, and the skin. And for those who like to make soya bean in a soya meal, pandan beef in the pandan juice, wheat glass, lemon glass, calamansi. If it goes with orange, lemon, apple, or even celery that you want to separate the fiber. So, if you want your juice without the fiber, you use the filter like this. If you want it together with the fiber, you do not need to use the filter. So you can have both that you want, all right? So let's see how we can get this done right now. Um, and anybody has any preference can help me. Any fruits and vegetables you can show it to you. Ma'am, sir, apple, orange, lemon, celery, anything in particular? Help me, please. No, nothing. Orange. Orange, okay. Any other fruits? Apple. Apple, sorry. <laughs> And celery. Okay, uh, I'm going to show you two juice, right? Apple, celery, I show you with orange, right? So go with two different juice here. Thanks, right? so go with this. So let's go with celery now, why? Right? Because I want to show you how to use it without the, the fiber, and later you have it with the fiber. So, depending on the number of stocks of celery that you may have, I'll be using between three to five stocks of celery, depending on the size of it. The only setback of this unit is they have to cut the fruits or vegetables that you want, right? Meaning that you need to cut them and put it inside the micro mesh filter right in the center. So basically, it goes right in the middle in this way. And you should not be able to see from the side what right, I meant it goes in the center. Can you see from there? Right in the middle here. Should there be more, you do not force it down. Because later when you crunch it down, it can always add in again. Celery is nice to go with apple as well. And to mix with an apple, use the green apple, not the red. It would be better to follow the color of the fruits or vegetables that you mix with. Basically, there's three main categories of color for fruits. Remember, you have the red fruits, the yellow fruits, and the green fruits. The red fruits are hardly mixed with yellow and green. They classify themselves more as the red juice. Yellow and green are more commonly mixed together. Either all yellow or green or yellow and green. You may like to go with lemon as well to give the antioxidant your juice here. If you like to take lemon, lime or even calamansi, you should not remove the skin. The skins are lots of vitamins, minerals, nutrients, antioxidants more than the juice itself and the skins are not bitter. I've been making lemonade all the time with the skin. We want to let me know or show you how. But anyway, a slice will do. Because the juice that we want right here is the celery, it's not the lemon. The lemon is only a supplement added to it. And I believe most of you may know, celery is are actually good for what? For people you know who have high blood, hypertension, or even high cholesterol, you can always advise them to take two to three times a day, it will be better before food, before they eat, all right? And not forgetting, as I mentioned, you can actually go with a little bit of water to dilute it quite. Look this up on the internet, and explain to you why normally they will use a little bit of water just like that. The purpose of adding a little of this is to help the body to absorb it much easier and simpler, especially for those with high blood or high cholesterol, it's better for them. So push down, turn clock once they're on it, and just a bit punch this down. So what I have here, as you can see, is with the salary that you want and this is obviously without the puffs and the fiber because you are using the filter right in the center and after this i'm going to show you how you can have your juice together with the fiber right this is without the fiber right now and with the green apple be added inside as well and not forgetting lemon uh, lemon with the skin so all the puffs of fiber and six are must stay in the center except the micro mesh filter right here but some of you i believe you may not like to take salary right you may find there's a quiet taste or smell so this is where you can may like to go with some honey just a little will do 
and uh, we do not make much. But anyway, this is optional. You can always go without it. It doesn't matter, depending on the preference. And next, you may like to go with some ice to make it cold, so that it tastes much refreshing. But for those who want it to be much more concentrated, remember, you can use the pressed ice. This is for demonstration. I should be more ice right now. Ice are turning on and just to be brush it up. So the same way, what we have here, as you can see, is going to be celery, green apple, lemon with the skins, honey, and ice. So all the cups of fiber, the six skin stays in the center, inside the micro mesh with the right here. I, I'm using the filter now, so should you try this later, there's no fiber at all. If you want to with the fiber, remember, you do not need to use the filter. Second of that you want. I'll show that to you later. Anyway, all this has been washed clean. We another set of clean water that I have behind. So I'm trying to give this a try. So I need to know there's no pumps, no fiber, no six of skin. As I mentioned, you'll be trapped in the center. All right, what we have right now is just going to be a refreshing juice of the vegetables and fruits. As you can see, it's celery, green apple, lemon with the skins, honey and ice. All the pumps, the fiber, the six will be trapped right in the middle inside the micro mesh filter. And after this, I'm going to show you to you how I can have the juice with the fiber. Always go for a second round. That's for a couple of seconds to get it all extracted so that nothing goes to waste from here. Just for a couple of seconds like this will be good enough. So let's see what we have right in the center. Can you see from there? This is where the pumps are fiber. You're all very far away to see. Can you come closer? Because behind you need to walk. Sorry for that. Right? Help me. Right? You can see the pumps and the fiber. Everything is stays in the center here. If you can't see it, I'm going to remove it to show it to you. Because the main concern now is how to get this wash and clean. Remember, all it takes in just 30 seconds and three easy steps. Like salary, try this one here. Anyone, please. Like, uh, if you want it to be even much um, um, better, concentrated, you can go with lesser ice, right? I have more ice right here anyway. But just to let you know, there's no fiber inside, right? This is without the fiber. If you want it with the fiber, then you don't use the filter. Anyone else? No? And I'm just going to leave it right here. This is without the fiber. Later, you're going to try it with the fiber. Do you want it? Okay, how can you wash this in less than 30 seconds? Anybody know? Or anybody has a juicer before? You know it's not easy to wash. You need to brush. Remember, this is 30 seconds in three steps. Step one. Remove the cover and the pressure, rinse with water to get this done. Step two, release the micro mesh filter, rinse and running tap water as well. Unlike many other filters, you need to use a brush to clean it. Remember, this is a micro mesh, no brushing is required, rinse it and it's done. Last but not least, you do not need to put your hands inside. All you need to do is release the blank below. You can see that every part can be easily dismantled to make a washing so much easier and simpler in just 30 seconds. You see the difference? Like, so this jar can be used by Excel and this way for three to four glasses for more or secondly use it together with a micro mesh filter fitted inside as an extractor and give it to for free right here but if you want your juice with the fiber so how then you do not use the filter use the small cup the bigger cups and the larger jar so let me show you how i can get this done right now i'm going to go with the tall cups and this time now we're going to go with orange right orange has a lot of and fiber and can try the orange later so at least you know how the fibers is going to be like so let's go with orange right here i'll be using the two oranges Alright, so and yeah, you're gonna try it shortly so I just know how is it like and 